everybody and welcome back to the metal scrapper channel so today we'll do a sand cast again i modified my molding box last week i prepared casting sand last week's video i accidentally showed the thing i wanted to cast again so it's the pyramid shape again so this will fit in here very nice so we don't have to use a lot of sand because if i fill this whole molding box it costs me uh, almost 50 kilos of sand so that's 90 pounds of sand so that's uh, quite heavy and a lot of sand so reduced it to uh, just a uh, corner of the uh, molding box so let's start up molding the um, pyramid shape and uh, again i will uh, do a three layer pyramid i will make a top layer now of copper then the aluminium bronze and finish it up with aluminium so here we go Alright, so this uh, saved me a lot of time, just molding up a square in the, in the molding box. And I love the, the smell of fresh wood, so that's awesome too. Yeah, let's flip it over and get the pyramid shape out. So always make sure to uh, remove any loose sand, you don't want to have to fold it into the uh, pattern. This is a fairly simple pattern, so I could probably blow it out, but if you have a uh, very sophisticated pattern, keep your uh, working uh, space clean. Alright, try to lift it out without breaking any sand. Alright, so we have the pyramid shape uh, in the sand. I'll put a nail in again because now I will have a high melting point metal first and a lower melting point metal after. So I don't think the metals will fuse like they did last time. So yeah, and then we're ready to uh, melt three times di different metals and make a pyramid shape. So we have the nail. And the fun part about the nail is that when you pour the metal, this will be really red, red hot. Ah, uh, I need some new lighting in the shed for sure very difficult to see the center position you don't want it uh, to put it way too much in because after you have cast it you will have a point sticking out of the cast of course it makes a very sharp point to the uh, pyramid shape but we can now uh, pour some copper aluminium bronze and top it off with aluminium this is almost flat with the uh, bottom it's just maybe uh, one eighth of an inch or uh, yeah half a centimeter i guess so yeah let's start the furnace and melt some metals Alright, so we have the mold ready to go and we have the setup ready to go. Got a crucible full of copper, one with aluminium bronze and one with aluminium. We'll also be melting some uh, cutoff spruce, piece of the uh, failed AK-47 and some empty beer cans. So let's fire with the furnace and make a triple layered pyramid.
screws and we have a problem. The screws ball is wasted. I can't lift it anymore. It will be very risky. Wil je wegwijzen? Want die smeltkroes valt uit elkaar. Wauw. Oh man, don't do this. I um, should wear my leather boots. This will be very, very risky. This one is falling apart completely. Man, I don't don't like this. Don't break on me, please, please, please. Ooh, right. Really wasted. It was already wasted the uh, last time. My camera's overheating now. Wow, this is crazy. Sorry guys, <laughs> it was uh, really exciting. And a little bit too exciting for me. As you can see the crucibles cracked all the way and the Wolf 56 already commanded uh, when I was using this crucible. There's a big crack in your crucible. Maybe you should retire it. I said yeah, I will retire it. But yeah, should have done it last time. Because I thought the fixed side of the crucible was still able to carry the uh, weight of uh, just aluminium. This is my aluminium crucible. This is one of my first crucibles too. And it barely fits in this 4 kilo furnace. So yeah, I have ordered a 8 kilo crucible. This is a 5 kilo crucible. So I will have uh, 3 kilos more. So. Uh, uh, almost double the size for the aluminium. Also ordered a big ingot mold, especially for the uh, aluminium, because I still need to build a furnace, and that will happen very soon. I have all stuff uh, ready. So very exciting. This one is still cooling down. I will uh, get it out of the, the sand in maybe 15 minutes or so. Right, so I think this uh, already is cooling off for 30 minutes and it's the first time I have a real flat surface on the uh, aluminium. So I'm quite happy with that because I can yeah, flip it over and just this is a solid straight base for the uh, pyramid. This is the first time I have it like this. There's no, no dent or whatever. Uh, I did it in the casting sand. Previous time the big ingot also gave me quite a good result but this, this is amazing. This is just flat. No shrinkage whatsoever. Just a tiny 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 bit. So yeah, again talking a lot. We had a crucible. That is really really beaten up. This is uh yeah. So I was lifting it and this was already breaking off. And no, that's that's not the only uh, side. You can see hmm so this one is uh, retired Officially, luckily uh, I have a new uh, 8 kilo crucible coming in. I need to think about starting making some new tongs. Alright, so this one is uh, done. So it's time to get pyramid out and cool it off. Oh yeah, I think this one came out pretty good. Still hot, so let's quench this one. Here we go. Well, it was way more heat than I would expect after uh, cooling for almost 40 minutes. It's crazy. And this water is hot, but not too hot this time. I think I can touch it. Yeah, this is really awesome, guys. Look at this. Still need to shine up the uh, copper, but we have a decent three-layered pyramid. So I will not grind this one. I will only uh, use a wire brush. So, we have a triple-layered pyramid. Let's shine this up. I will shine it up off camera and show the end result. So, here we have it. A genuine triple layered pyramid. So this was uh, what I was aiming for the uh, first time, but uh, you, can, you can see the uh, layers did not fuse because this melts around 1100 degrees. This melts around 1000 Celsius, the degrees Celsius and this 660 uh, degrees Celsius. So, I hope you guys like this video. If so, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you will uh, see more melting videos. So let's uh, bring this to the safe and add it to the stack. So we're back at the safe. 
First of all, let's weigh up that pyramid. All right, we have the scales here. Hmm, it's very difficult to see with the light. It's at zero. So we made a pyramid of, I will say the number because you cannot see it, 2166 grams. So we'll be adding that to the stack. So here it goes. So we have two pyramids now. One real triple layered pyramid and one fused pyramid. Total stack weight will be in the screen right now. I thank you for watching. Have a great weekend or a great week. And I'll see you next week. Bye bye.